let's talk about your background check that just happened. Yeah, one morning I was going to drive actually this weekend because, Chris, I had a five trips for 60 bucks. Quest, Ooh. first time in four months. Whoa. I got a quest. I knocked it out on Holy Saturday. Shit. I knocked it out, bro. I was like, hey, give me the money, right? Okay, so I'm ready to drive. I turn the app on. Boing, you know, that sickening feeling you get in your stomach, right? Well, yeah. I, you know, this, this shows up either you got deactivated or you got suspended or some shit happened. And I'm mm -hmm. going like, oh, gosh. So I click on it. It goes, agree to, you know, to the background check. I'm like, okay, look at the, look at the, by the way, look at the, um, the times of the screenshots that I took. Okay. So 306 is when I did this, 306. 307 is like, I agree and acknowledge to, for the background check, right? 307 is, it showed me that I needed a background check. Okay. So I, I didn't, I had the screenshots, but we didn't put them up. I clicked admit, okay, 309. This is what I got from Uber. So how long does that take? Three minutes? Two three minutes. Six, three, seven, three, yeah, three, you, three minutes. You beat me. You beat me because when minutes, I needed right? mine a couple of weeks ago, it was about 12 minutes from the time that I hit, hit submit to the time that it was all ready to go. So you won. You beat me. <laughs> Three minutes. It took me to get through the background check. And then, but the funny thing is, Checker sends me an email, right? Because I always say, send me a report on my background check, right? If you're right. Uh -huh. Checker sent me an email. After like two hours after this, Checker sends me an email. It says your background check is running. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I'm going like, I thought I was done. I'm on the app already. I'm driving. And then... Maybe half hour later, checker says your background check is done. Here's your report, right? So I'm going like, all right, cool. So a lot of people send me shit, Chris, saying that, oh, my God, it's been two months. My background check is still running. So I, I don't know what's going on. But in California, supposedly, it's done in three minutes. I was like happy. But mm -hmm. I thought, you know what? I New thought York, it's, it's 12. <laughs> yeah, I thought about the segment. You know, if they had screwed me. With this and the background check ran because my quest was only for like a week. Five huh. tips for 60 bucks. And I was going to do it on the weekend. And today it was running out, right? So if the background check lasted longer, I go, there goes my quest. I was going to say, oh, you fuckers, you just put the, give me the quest. But then you made me, you know, go through the background check. It's taking too long and I wouldn't get my 60 bucks, but I got my 60 bucks. So I'm like, yeah, thumbs up. So nice. Uber, good job. Three three minutes is war. I didn't expect it to be three minutes. I was like maybe a couple hours, a couple days, whatever. But three minutes. You, is now fast. here's the thing. Did you have to do your lift background check on the same day and time? No, no. You needed I did that to... like a month ago. Lift was a month ago. I don't know how they oh, worked right. that out. Lift was like a month, and lift was also very fast. Maybe not this fast, but maybe like ten minutes. Yeah, like mine. That. So for those who who may not have known, a couple of weeks ago. Um, Uber and Lyft required me to do a background check same day and time. Yeah. And, you know, when I, when I signed up, it was actually a, a big difference in time. So it really shouldn't have been a problem, but yeah, literally same day, same time that I needed to do the background check. Um, Uber took like 12 minutes, uh, Lyft took a couple hours for it to do. So, yeah. well, uh, it wasn't too bad, but it still was a pain in the ass. Yeah, we see this all the time. Sergio, you're lucky it took over three weeks. Yeah, I see this all the time. Mm -hmm. But I guess, you know what? One of the reasons, by the way, Checker said in their email, we're running your background check after Uber already said it's done and you're back on the platform. Checker says, why do the background checks get delayed? Supposedly, there are some um, DMVs or state offices or whatever it is that or the city offices that the background check has to go through. If they don't report back to checker real fast, that's why they get there's like bottlenecks basically in the whole system. I'm like, all right, sure. You know, Mike Duva, I'm gonna get you deactivated. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, bro. But uh yeah, he's in Boston, he's killing it. You know, everybody in Boston is doing what look, Boston is the Boston <laughs> is the perfect Boston. market for a Veteran a cherry picker. Shot. Veteran cherry picker. If you know what you're doing in Boston, you can kill it. You can make 40, 50 bucks an hour. Because surges are real. They're or, they're organic. There's no fake bullshit. Demand kicks in. 30 bucks surge shows up. And it dies down. If you know what you're doing as a veteran, you're doing well in Boston. 
if you're a dumb shit, you're going to be bad in any city. But in Boston, yeah, yeah, we're going to push for that, for that law everywhere. <laughs> That'll get rid of some freaking fake accounts. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, thanks for watching. That short little clip was from our live stream, Show Me the Money Club with Sergio and myself. Tuesdays, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. Make sure you subscribe, turn on all notifications so you'll be notified when we go live, as well as all of our awesome content. Make sure to check out this video right here, which will take you to the entire live stream, or check out this video right there. All right, drive smart, everyone.